Hi guys, it's Courtney here from Raw Hair and Beauty. So as you know, we have been asking what you would like to see in tutorials from us whilst we're off on lockdown. So I saw that a few of you had requested a tutorial for a messy bun. So I'm going to show you how I achieve my messy bun. So first things first, there's a few things that you are going to need. First things first, you'll need a brush. Any kind of brush will do. It's just for detangling and helping gather all of your hair together. Back combing brush or dressing out brush for teasing very lightly, a hair tie and some curvy grips. So to start with I'm starting off with my hair slightly smooth but as many of my clients will know I have naturally curly hair so my hair has a lot of texture to it anyway. If you do have particularly fine hair or naturally straight hair you want to give your hair a little bit of texture so you could use a little bit of hairspray, dry shampoo, anything that will just help give it a little bit of grip for working with. Um, Goldwell's Dry Boost Spray is really good for this, so if you want to use some of that, go ahead. It'll just help make this a lot easier and give your hair a little bit more of a grip to it for styling. So start off just by brushing all of your hair out so that there's no tugs, no tangles. Just like that. Then, what we're going to do is brush everything back the way, away from the face. Just like that and up to your desired height. So most people for a messy one are going to want this up pretty high. Gather your hair up nice and neat. Just like that. So, once I've gathered my hair all up to the desired height, you can see here it's quite tight, quite neat. So, before tying it up, I'm going to extend the ponytail just a little, so I'm not keeping it super tight. I'm getting a little bit of teasing and volume here. And what I'm going to do is just slightly pull some of this out and forward. So you can see, it's not completely perfect and flat, just like that. And then we're just going to tie this off with your hair tight pull any more pieces out that you want to pull out so this would be ideal if you have any pieces that you like to leave down any of your little baby hairs anything that you feel would make this more personal to you so you can see here that we've got all of our hair just sitting nice and loose and messy on the top of our head what we're going to do now is working in small-ish sections with our teasing brush, backcombing brush, we are going to just lightly backcomb each section. So the more backcombing you do, the bigger and fuller and messier your bun is going to be. So I'm going to just do a little bit of teasing. I don't like anything too messy. I still like my bun to be quite structured. Working in sections. Just like so. Now that all of your teasing is in place and you look like a wild cave woman, what we're going to do is we're going to just take these sections so as they're lying, almost like a little pineapple over your head, I'm going to start from the back. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to start just slowly twisting round in a sort of donut shape around the base of the ponytail so this is where you can be as full or as tight as you like to be in positioning your bun so you can see I keep mine quite loose and widespread still keeping a lot of that teasing effect in place I'm just hoping you can still see that with the light and then it doesn't matter if you've still got little pieces hanging out we'll go back in and fix them with your curvy grips, just start pinning right in at the base here. So right in where the hair is sitting on the scalp and pin it right into the base of that ponytail. Working round to where you feel are the loosest points. So we don't need to go curvy crazy. If you've twisted the hair in properly, this should help to hold with literally only about three or four pins. It shouldn't need a lot. Twisting the ends under and pinning. And then this little bit at the front. If 
if you're unhappy with the position of any of your pins then feel free to just kind of pull them out and reposition them as you need. There we go, I'll come a little bit closer in there. So once you feel that everything's secure, you can see that I'm shaking my head, nothing's falling loose, nothing's flopping around. What I'm going to do is just kind of pull at the bun a little, just to kind of cause a little bit of separation and spread it out. And same in the back, just kind of pull and separate as required. So you can see it's all coming into shape nicely. Last thing, you just want to have any kind of finishing touches. Make sure you're completely happy with how it's sitting. Pull any pieces forward. So if you wanted, you could take your straightening irons, run over these pieces and just put a light curl in them. Um, I believe Morgan's already done a tutorial on hair curls with straighteners. Go and check it out. Um, other than that, that is your messy bun tutorial. Have fun.